And now, a word of faith from Bishop Barra. Hi there. Today, I want to talk to you who are crying. Yes, tears are falling from your eyes. Because you are feeling pain, you have lost your spouse, husband, wife. Because you have lost a family member, you have this sadness inside of you. You lost your job. You are about to lose your house and you don't have a roof over your head, upon your head, upon your family's head. You are desperate. Well, my tears have been my food day and night. Does it sound familiar to you? Your tears have been your food day and night? And you say, yes, I do believe in God. I do go to church. I read my Bible. I say my prayers. But look at you. Look at your life. Tears, pain, suffering. This is all you have gotten. He says, my tears have been my food day and night. While they continually say to me, where is your God? Where is your God? They are asking you, where is your God? Because you say, I believe in God. But where is this God in your life? I want to show to you before the prayer. Some people that were like you, they were crying, but Jesus turned their tears into joy, into happiness. And this is what God is going to do. He is going to transform your tears, life of tears. He is going to change, transform into a life of joy. Have you cried tears of pain? Frustration, loneliness, sadness, the following people had. I was going downfall, basically. I just kept pushing harder, kept partying, kept drinking, kept smoking, kept getting involved with men. I just think there was like an emptiness inside that made me think that there was no hope. I got addicted to, to medications. I also tried illegal drugs as a teenager. Marijuana was the favorite one that I used. When I was separated from my wife, I realized my life is bad. It's like, I didn't think my life could get any worse. Split over my homosexual, my homosexuality because I had cheated on her with a guy. I just wanted to feel numb, so I used to smoke a lot as well. I would smoke to numb the pain. I would smoke to just get away from these feelings that I had of being alone. I sold drugs as well. I had a boyfriend, and um, I found out he had given me a sexually transmitted disease. And that's when I hit rock bottom. But God wiped away every tear from their eyes, and today they have joy. Lucia today is happy. Lucia has goals. Lucia can see, well, can say that she's a responsible mom now, that she cares more about her family, appreciates her family. Lucia is delivered. So that's the most important part, that I actually have peace inside of me. I got rid of everything, and I didn't touch the drugs. I realized I had peace. I never had peace in my life before. I never experienced that in my life. The desires in my life changed, and my mind changed, my thoughts changed. When I stopped suffering, it felt like nothing I ever felt before. I felt like the burden was gone completely. I no longer had the craving to smoke. I no longer had the desire. She said she does no longer have this desire of drugs, suffering. He was uh, having problem. He's married. He's love life. All these people I showed to you did stop suffering. You are going to stop suffering as well. Right now, I want to pray for you at the foot of the cross. There are many names at the foot of the cross. Even if you have not called or emailed me, I want to pray together with you right now. When no one else gives you the light of day, or even to hear your voice becomes a burden, prayer is the way to get the hope and strength you need to overcome your troubles. Please 
Close your eyes. It's time for prayer. My Lord and my Father, God of the Bible, I pray to you here at the foot of this holy cross. There are many people crying right now. This person cries day and night, no peace. Nothing works in her life or a spirit of the Lord. You are the God of peace. So transform now these tears into peace, joy, happiness. Oh Lord, the pain is unbearable. It is a deep sadness that became depression, insomnia. This person is now suicidal. Oh my Father, here at the foot of the cross, I have their names. The names of those who have been crying, suffering, oh Holy Spirit. I am praying for a transformation, not to improve, because you don't want anybody to feel better. You did change water into wine, a good wine. You did not change the taste of the water. You did not improve the water. You did not make that water a better water. No, you changed. Yes, it became wine, a new wine. So make this person to become right now a new mother, a new wife, a new husband, a new son, a new daughter to their parents. Lord, you can make everything new. So, and when people ask, where is your God? They shall see your hands, your work in their lives. I bless those who have been sponsoring this work, this ministry. They have been sowing their seeds and I have their names with me. I ask you, Lord, that you may transform their lives with thy power. This is my prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And you who are out there, you say, Amen. Yes, Amen, because you have received light. The light of God you have received. Light is yours. Stop crying, stop suffering, no more tears falling down from your eyes.